All right, well, this year's car is, for me, is a 1965 Chrysler Imperial. Um, I guess I'll give you guys just a quick walk around um, just to kind of see what it looks like. It is a quite a bit older car. It is considered a classic, um, but there is quite a bit of rust on the body and in the inside, certainly to the extent of not being roadworthy or safe to drive on the road. Um, so really the best use for it would either be parts or demolition derby and since our hobby is demolition derby we figure this would be good to put towards our uh, outreach so I'll just kind of keep walking around give you guys maybe a quick little view of what the inside looks like at the moment I've already done a little bit of work on making it look like a derby car but there is quite a bit of rust and a lot of holes in the floor maybe I'll get get you guys a better view from the other side but uh, the body is, obviously you can see some rust right there, but the body is mostly solid overall and the frame is really solid, which in Demo Derby is really the most important thing. Um, I guess a little bit of history of the Imperial. It, a, it came with a 413 wedge motor with a torque flight transmission. I have removed those because I did not feel that they were uh, the best uh, operation for Demo Derby. And I will be showing you guys a little bit um, what actually I replaced it with. Um, this side, I have not done much body work to, so it still looks a lot like the original. And I got some nice snow tires on there. and Still got to do a little bit of tweaking on the heights of the suspension and whatnot, but overall, it's a very really solid car and definitely looking forward to racing it. Maybe I'll give you guys a better view of the inside from here. You can see quite a bit of rust on the floor and a lot of holes there. We had to cut a, the hump right there to get the transmission to actually fit. Um, it's definitely a work in progress, but just kind of wanted to give you guys a status update on where we're at right now. All right. Continue on around. And uh, the front bumper is still the stock one which will be removed as well and I have a bumper from a 73 Thunderbird which will be replacing that um, mainly just because it's pressed steel and not quite as strong as we'd like so we're gonna change that up and uh, I'll give you guys a better view of the engine here in one second alright now as I had said the uh, 413 has been removed and in this place I have put in a Ford 460 now yes, that is a Ford engine and a Chrysler, and they do not go together well. So I had to uh, weld up my own engine mounts, do some uh, hammering to the, uh, the firewall and the hood to make it all fit. But it is in place, it runs, it moves, it's a beast. Um, you guys will have to look uh, for some new videos coming up here shortly of me uh, driving it around and playing it with it. So that is pretty much this car for myself this year, and hopefully you'll be able to... Uh, see the other vehicle we have going on which is a 1981 AMC Spirit so uh, watch for some videos of that coming shortly and I'd like to thank you for tuning in to All For Him Racing and you hope you have a great day Welcome.